My 2019 Range Rover needs an oil change and I'm tired of taking it to the dealer and being charged $350 and upwards. Also, they're always trying to upsell me. Just do the friggin' oil change. That's all I need. I'm gonna walk you through the oil change so you can do it. And I'll show you the step-by-step -step and what to look out for. Like this thing. Let's go. Here are the tools I'll use. The first thing you're gonna need is a how-to to go mug. You can order it down below because you will get thirsty. You can also put your nuts in it and bolts. Then a torque wrench, a 90.2 millimeter oil filter cap socket. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get the one I got, which was perfect. A 13 millimeter socket, and a 15 millimeter socket, an oil funnel, and again, there'll be a link in the description where to get this. An automatic socket tool to make things go quicker. This one wasn't great because it had too little torque, but you could figure this one out. And you'll need a new oil filter and a one-time use drain plug, which you'll also find in the description where to get them. Let's get in the car, start it up, and lift this up to off-road height. I saw in some videos the adjustable shocks will go even higher if there's an obstruction. I'll get it done with off-road height. Yeah, it's going to be a little tight, but I'll manage. Time to pop open the hood. That's how you do it. I'll take off this plastic cover that snaps off. These two prongs snap onto these two white plugs. That's it. These are the only things holding on the plastic engine cover. Look at that. The oil cap tells you what type of oil to put in. I'm going to loosen this cap so when I take off the drain plug, the oil should come out smooth. See that little tube? There are two ways to get oil out. One is to use an oil extractor pump to suck out the oil into a drum, and the other is to take off the drain bolt underneath the car. If you use this, you don't have to get underneath the car, but I question if this gets all the old oil out. Now this panel protects the engine, but for the oil change, it needs to come off to get to the drain plug. I'm going to use a 15 millimeter socket, loosen the bolts by hand because they're too tight for my little tool. There are some bolts in the front, Time for the little ratchet to get to work. I'll do all the bolts and the center one last. Here we go. Panel is off and filthy. I wonder if the dealer cleans these when they do the oil change. Now the oil drain plug is right there. The best way to access it is from the front of the vehicle. The engine wasn't too warm, about 100 degrees. And I struck oil all over my hand. We're gonna let that drain. And we'll start working on replacing the oil filter. I'll use this big 90.2 millimeter nut that I ordered on Amazon. Again, I'll leave the link in the description. I'm just going to cover around this area to catch any drippage and broke it loose pretty easy. Well, my paper towels didn't last. I should have done this after the filter was unscrewed. Now get the old dirty filter in the bag trick before it makes a mess.
Let's take a closer look at this filter. See this bottom piece? Don't forget this. This rubber ring we're going to replace. A flathead screwdriver will do the trick, making sure I don't ruin the threads and looking at the exact place the new one needs to go back on. Here's the new one and I'll leave a link in the description to this one. This is the OEM Land Rover part which is around $17. You can get one half the price that's not OEM. It comes with the round rubber gasket. Put a little oil on the gasket so when you tighten this back on, it slides to make it a perfect seal. When you put this gasket on, there is a specific gap right there. You want to make sure it's not sitting on the threads. This piece goes right here. This didn't come with the new filter. It snaps right in and will make it easier to put the oil filter in correctly. Others online doing the oil filters for the Land Rovers aren't showing this piece. Maybe it can work without it, but let's do it right. It has its own special happy place. Put this in with the little star looking piece and turn it to make sure it's secure and let's put it in by hand and make sure the threads are going on straight. You don't want to force this and ruin the cap threads. Let's screw this down tighter and torque it to 17 to 18 foot pounds. and the new filter is in. At this point, no reason to have the cover off. Remember, align the white with the black pegs. Push down firmly and you should feel them catch. Now the drain plug is a one-time use. This is the old one. You can see it doesn't have a washer. Well, it sort of does, but it's built in rubber. The one I purchased online is this aluminum one. And this came with a copper washer. Also, the tip is magnetic. The one from the dealer isn't. I like having it magnetic on the tip because any type of metal shavings or pieces from the engine will stick to it and you'll see it on the next oil change. If that happens, there's something going wrong with your engine. Metal shavings, bad. With the stock oil plug, I would never see these and probably discover the problem when it's too late. I'm not going to recommend this new drain plug. I like the stock one and I would look for one similar with a magnetic tip. The aluminum I did not have a problem with, but the metal is soft when tightening and it doesn't seem to cover the oil plug around as well. I'll put a link in the description of the one I should have purchased. Putting it on, it went on with no issues. The threads were correct and there are no leaks. We'll clean this area up a bit from the small drips and torque it to 18 foot pounds. And look at that, good to go. Now for the oil. The cap says use Castrol zero weight 20. I'll end up changing this 10,000 miles or once a year, whatever comes first. I'll pour this slow to give it time to go down. To not bore you, I'll speed this up. This takes 8.5 quarts of oil, but I stopped at 8 and checked the oil level, then put in another half to make it full. You absolutely do not want to put too much oil in. You could ruin your engine. Now the bottom engine panel. Middle bolt first, not too tight so I can align the holes for the other bolts. Check. 
check the oil level. Looks good. Now we're going to reset the instrument panel. When resetting, the hood needs to be open. Press start without your foot on the pedal. While it's chiming, press all the way down with the gas and the brake. Your instrument panel will be saying service resetting. Keep pressing down with both feet until the chime changes. This takes a few minutes and it resets. My Range Rover Sport says the next service is 16,150 miles. I hope this helped you. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up.